South African authorities say hundreds cast their ballots in Washington over two days of voting in the May 29th elections. They joined compatriots who live in other parts of the world, including in the United Kingdom, where thousands voted. Ishmael Issel, South Africa's acting ambassador to the United States, says Pretoria worked closely with community leaders to ensure that voters worldwide receive constant updates. Uh, there are different respective platforms, and they are through uh, um, uh, community platforms in terms of uh, WhatsApp messaging, uh, Facebook messaging, uh, just on our South African websites, our mission websites have been constantly updated, constantly informing people of where to vote and how to vote, basically. Pretoria's attempts did not reach all South Africans, including Margaret Parakis, a resident of the U.S. state of Maryland. Some of the South Africans did not get to vote. They filled up the form to vote in D.C. Um, the IEC did not, I mean, like literally did not respond to that or send any confirmation. So people came over here and come to find out that, you know, they are not on the list. Despite being unable to cast her ballot, Parakis says she's a staunch supporter of the governing African National Congress. But she says change is needed in South Africa. Nikki Putter lives in the U.S. state of North Carolina and traveled to Washington. He also wants to see change. Um, the last, uh, you know, uh, now 30 years that uh, the ANC have had opportunity, I believe um, that they um, were able to uh, affect many um, however, at this moment in time, um, I think we feel that um, a, a change in terms of the leadership can, can bring about a big change. Not everyone thinks there needs to be a leadership change. Zinte Rapole, a South African who lives in the U.S. state of Maryland, says she's not confident about the opposition's ability to govern the nation. I think all of these parties promise the same thing that ANC is promising. So why would one want to change and uh, vote for a different party, whereas they probably won't do the same thing? They won't do most of what ANC does, basically. Dozens of political parties, including the ANC, the Democratic Alliance, and the Economic Freedom Fighters, are contesting the elections. Analysts say the vote may be historic because it will likely end with the ANC, the governing party since the first democratic elections 30 years ago, losing its parliamentary majority. Mike Ove, VOA News, Washington.